what is up dtube steam blockchain so today i want to do a some commentary here on um, on a guy on twitter which is called carnivore aurelius and he made some um, some life advice and they said if you do this for 30 days you will be unre unrecognizable and i want to give my some are good, some are bad, I think. But I want to give my advice or my commentary on this. So, uh, if you want to check him out, also he's called Keto Aurelius on Twitter. So, as I said, I think b both good advice here and some uh, advice that I don't um, that I don't agree with. So the first one is. Okay, I'm going to read all of them first and then I'm going to add my commentary. So the first one, sleep 8 plus hours. Uh, and then 1 LB of beef liver per week. Get sun daily. No seed oils or sugar. Read for 30 minutes a day. Lift 3x a week. 2 hours of deep work daily. Meditate for 10 minutes daily. Okay, so... The first one, uh, which was sleep eight plus hours daily. If we start off with that one, first of all, it's, it's not that we need eight hours of sleep daily. Uh, the body needs restfulness. That means if you rest in your body uh, during the day, you can get away with around three hours to four hours. That's basically half. Now, people have been conditioned with thinking that we need to sleep a third of our life away. But a lot of that comes down to the diet that people are eating and also a lot of conditioning. But yeah, I mean, the body doesn't need sleep, it needs restfulness. And if people are resting during the day, which they can do in their body, then they can get away with just three, three to four hours, maybe even less. Because it's, it's like during the day, they rest in their body, right? And that's basically how it should be. So in many ways, human societies need to move to this stage eventually where it's way more, a way more low key. Like people are resting more in themselves, which means, uh, and, and that's going to be easier when we have technology, which is better. They can do a lot of work so people don't have to run around that much. Uh, okay, so that's my thoughts there on the first one. And then the other one I think may be pretty good in a way, like beef, eat beef. Um, now, I'm not an expert on this, but I mean, maybe, maybe this one can be a good one. I think maybe it can bring some stability. Uh, but at the same time... We should probably try to move more towards fruit. Uh, it sounds smarter, but I, I don't have a major complaint on this one. But beef, liver, weak. Uh, get sun daily, which was the next one, which I think is, I mean, yes, get sun. Uh, walk outside of your home. <laughs> I think that one is almost obvious in many ways. Uh, I'm making a little, a little bit of, a, you know, a little bit fun here because in many ways, I think that a lot of these uh, Twitter people, in many ways, they take themselves a little bit too serious. Uh, it's like everyone, like this is the latest thing. The latest thing is everyone is giving magical advice to everyone else. And I mean, this is something that we also see on YouTube. And uh, I'm making a little bit of a parody here in many ways because I think it's important to just have fun sometimes because it's the same with YouTube. It's like people are doing these videos and uh, trying to sound super smart uh, or like, this is going to change your life. This is going to be amazing. Or like these success motivation videos. And I mean, they always think the most obvious things that we already all know. And it becomes like, I mean, it's funny. Like in many ways, it's kind of like a parody. And that's why it's also kind of fun to like add some commentary on it. But again, like some of these things are really good. You know, like it's like, yes, it actually is good. But it's still kind of fun in many ways. 
is like get some sun um get some sun and in 30 days you'll be unrecognizable it's like people notice like people know you need you, you should have sun <laughs> uh but yeah okay uh the, the the fourth one no seed oils or sugar i mean this is i think the best point uh sugar is like it's really bad to be honest uh i would add in actually even though i'm not sure if he, if he does coffee or tea but i think that that one is like a big thing that people like really should try to stay away from because that one really is like it really affects people's uh neuro I, I don't remember what it was called this um uh nerve or what is it called nervous stimulant or something like that i mean that one is really really bad uh sugar of course also really really bad but i think in some ways it, it's kind of it's like it's not as bad i think as coffee or tea personally on me uh, seed oils, I don't know about, but he's probably right on that one. I think this is the best point he he, he made all of, all of this. No seed oils or sugar. And then, <clears throat> then the, uh, uh, the next one was read for thirty minutes a day. This one is kind of like it's it's very interesting now with the AI age coming up, where reading is going to be completely pointless in many ways. I would actually replace this one. I think it's good that he like tries to promote reading and stuff like that. But in many ways, I think they've done some studies. Nobody's like reading books uh, because it's like nobody really see a point with it anymore because the AI and everything is going to become smarter and everyone's sort of trying to look smart and you can sort of find some quick pieces of what you want super fast. So in many ways, reading has become like super obsolete. But in I like it in a way how he wants to promote it. But I think that the AI is going to take over that completely in the next five years. Uh, I would actually replace reading, I would say, with just instead of like reading for 30 minutes, like if you perceive, like if you're just looking at the world, for 30 minutes, you're probably going to know more. Uh, and that's like, that's like a fun thing. Uh, so yeah, I would actually replace reading with perception. Just perceiving something. Maybe in your room or whatever. Because in many ways, I've heard this from smarter people than me, that if you read too much, you might actually clutter your mind. Like you might actually put in more nonsense there than is good like it's probably just going to confuse you more so if a person just pays attention to something for like let's say 30 minutes instead i don't know just be attentive in your room or something like that i actually think that that would actually be better but i still get this in a way like if i do read for 30 minutes yes i actually feel way more clear and stuff like that but i think we are already sort of reading during the day so much that we sort of already in a way sort of is doing this and even reading usually I mean if you take even a book and this is kind of interesting when you consider or like any text it's just 24 letters you just have to rearrange them and you can get all the text ever written like it's just 24 letters and if you just rearrange them the AI will do that. You can get it. Uh, it it um. You can you can basically get it to say anything. So if we had used the alphabet and we like just looked at the twenty four letters, it's like it would. In many ways, it would be the same thing. So I would actually replace it just with perception. Just like be attentive for thirty minutes instead of reading books. Even though I still you know books are cool in a way. And I think that, yeah, if a person adds some reading, they should be able to have some fun with it and not take it too serious, which the problem with books, I think, is people take it too serious and people take that th those advice. And in many ways, they're not really learning anything new. It's just like rehashing a lot of stuff. And then it was lift three times per week. Uh, I actually think, I mean, it might be good in a way, but in a way, we already replaced like 
like humans, we replaced we replaced the muscle with the robot already 100 years ago, and we we sort of not going back to that. So, I mean, it's one of these points also where. I mean, you can do it as a hobby, but I don't think if you do this for 30 days, you will be unrecognizable. But I mean, I get it in a way. Um, but at the same time, it's like, I mean, even even if we would lift, like we can use it, we can do it, we can let a machine lift stuff now. Like, but I get it in a way, but I'm, I'm, I'm not sure if it actually makes people more intelligent. Like if they become stronger in their body, I mean, maybe, but it, it sound, it feels like a lot of people that are used to doing the fitness stuff that they sort of get stuck in that and then obsess about the body instead. Um, then the, uh, the next point here is two hours of deep work daily, which is a good point to think. And then the last point is meditate for 10 minutes daily. Actually, the last point, like meditate is something that you should do the most. Like you should not just do it for 10 minutes per day because th this is the only point. Meditate is something you should do during the whole day because it's the only thing that the machine and the AI never will be able to do. It, the, the human being will only be able to meditate. So the last point that was only for 10 minutes, that's actually the thing you should do for eight hours during the day, like during the whole day. Meditate as much as possible because that is actually what the AI and robot won't be able to do. <laughs> yeah, quick video.